Okay, so the question that I have for you on this video is are you concerned, as I am, with um, space inside your backpack and packing things in there? Um, myself, I have one backpack. It is a DPM, British style or Dutch style DPM. It's not a military backpack. It's probably a backpack used by scouts and um, cadets and things like that. Um, anyway, so what I've been designing over the last more than a month or so is this entire complete system here. This is the Zebra 12 centimeter billy. That's the one that's mainly inside here that you can see the height over here. That's 12 centimeters wide. I'll give you all the other dimensions of the video as well further as we go along. This is the a waxed canvas bag that I purchased for this. Uh, it's a very good system to hold it all together in because the Zebra billy cans do not have a clip. They do have plastic clips but they're useless when you're cooking so I threw them away straight away so you don't really have a way of keeping the lid on unless you purchase a bag to hold it in so inside here is the 12 centimeter cooking pot a 10 centimeter what I use as a drinking mug for boiling water in as well it's a stainless steel so both these pots are stainless steel the drinking mug can actually um, double as a cooking pot because it's got a hanging handle as well as the butterfly handles that drinking mug, mugs usually have. Um, I have a folding pocket stove in here. Um, I have a food prep knife. I have pre-mixed uh, coffee. I have pre-mixed uh, hot chocolate cocoa drink. I've got pre-mixed bannock uh, flour to make uh, one large-ish serving of bannock. Uh, that's Cree bread for those of you in the nor northern hemisphere of the United States area, Canada. I have a lighter, some tissues. Um, what else? And I have spices, spices and oil. Okay, let's unpack, take a look. Okay, so that's the Lixada. This is the packaging it comes in. As you can see, you can see through there that there's something bulging out the top. Uh, this is heavily, heavily packed. Um, I wouldn't actually put this much stuff in here. I'm just doing this for the video to show you how much I've put in here and still managed to close this up and close the whole system up. You can just pack it as one package into your, uh, into your carrying gear. Okay, so first off, we have the pre-mixed bannock bread. Um, I do have the recipe for bannock bread. The bannock bread. Uh, I may have not put it on my YouTube, but it's definitely on my blog. Um, I have a WordPress blog. Normally, I put in the description, so just have a look in there. This is enough for a full meal. Um, in fact, this can fill you up if you've got something else going along with it. That's everything packed in there. Um, let's take a look without the bannock how it would have closed up. So the opinel knife is preventing it from closing properly. That's the reason why I said let me just stuff the bannock bread in there anyway. I have the larger opinel. A lot of people go for I think the size 7 and the size 8. We use these knives for food prep and uh, I went for the 9 because just you know taking a look at it I wasn't too happy with those other sizes so I wanted a little bit of a bigger one. Let's take a look at it. That's just my food prep knife. I was a bit of an idiot. I took the carbon one. So, you know, you got a few stains over there, but oh well. Okay, so let's load this guy up. So, food prep knife. Oil and spice mix. I just stuffed in two kitchen towels just to show you. I'm going to open one of them up to show you how big they really are. I could have put way more in there but just two for now. Okay. A lighter for backup. I don't like to light fires with a lighter. I'm always doing ferro rod 
a natural tinder but you need to have a backup just in case you've gone and done something stupid like leaving your uh, ferro rod at home pre-mixed coffee I'll give you the recipe so one teaspoon of your coffee I like one teaspoon of sugar with my coffee so today I have demerara sugar brown demerara and then four or five teaspoons of uh, milk powder folding spork didn't mention that earlier pre-mixed uh, hot chocolate slash cacao cocoa uh, recipe for this I had like one tablespoon of pure cocoa powder um, one teaspoon of uh, kind of like mainstream um, hot chocolate and then I think about six teaspoons of milk powder and then I don't need a lot of sugar with this so I took like a, a third of a teaspoon of sugar here's my folding stove pocket folder so if you've been following my videos you'll know that I'm quite a fan of Lixada um, how I became a fan was I bought the larger uh, the larger folding twig stove, the hinged folding twig stove, and that is just such an awesome piece of kit, especially considering what price I paid for it. It's just like the best thing, honestly. Um, any of you out there who wants to buy a folding stick or twig stove and find the bush bush box and fire box and whatever they're called to be too pricey, I'm with you on that. I seriously don't know how a company can make a product that is just basically stamped pieces of metal and charge that price for it. I know it's a very good design, I know that they need to make their money, but uh, they're, in my opinion they're really ripping you off. Um, good good on you if you can afford that, but I'm kind of, point, personally I'm kind of saying like, sorry I'm not going to support a company that charges so much for such a an easy to make product. I mean once you pass the design stage and you have a company that's willing to stamp it for you. You shouldn't be charging that price anyway. Rant over. <laughs> so I'll just open this guy up to show you what you looks kind of small, but you know you'll see how big it is. So you can see what you can fit into here. So this stove comes with a um, a shelf to hold a alcohol burner or spirit burner. I've never used it yet. I just like to cook on wood. But it's there, you know. Okay, these are really easy to set up. This is the ash tray wood holder. Super simple. I recommend these over the. Um, there is a type of stove which uh, people like to buy because they're really low budget, and it's also made by Tom Shu and Lixada. And it's one that you kind of like fit together like a puzzle. And watching videos of people putting those together is just like, wow, I wouldn't want to go through that. So there we have it. It's honestly a pretty good sized little stove. Um, it's really good. What One thing it doesn't have, which the older brother, the bigger brother of it does have, is the little hob cross grill thing that you fit on top. But I think they chose not to put that in there because it's such a small little stove that they just expect you to have cookware that's big enough to just fit over the top anyway and not fall in so this is this, this is the uh, Lixada 10 centimeter fits perfectly there um, why I choose this one it doubles it's got a hanger as well as the butterfly handles not a lot of products have those two together so this is really my main drinking mug but I have used it to cook some stuff in the past so it fits perfectly on there, which obviously means that the um, zebra will have no risk of falling in whatsoever. There you have it. So it's a complete cookware system. Um, you got your drinks in there, you got your food in there, you got your spork, um, food prep knife, oils, spices. All of that just in that one system so I'm not telling you that you have to particularly buy these products only what I'm enticing you to do 
is just before you purchase things online look at the specifications and try match things together so I didn't actually buy this stove specifically because I felt it would fit perfectly into here I didn't actually do that uh, I purchased it for another reason um, if you want to know the reason at the end of this video I will have a suggestive video and it is called uh, breakfast cooked on a Halloween jack-o-lantern I think it is uh, click on that video and find out why I bought this little stove it's quite a cool video so when when I had this 10 centimeter I didn't have the zebra bully yet and then what I did was I took this um, I got a measuring tape well actually it's got a normal ruler folded all the handles down and I did a measurement so knowing that this is 10 centimeters I found out that that would add about another maybe 11 millimeters 10 millimeters onto it and then I I did take a little bit of a gamble but I double checked the specifications of the zebra billy and I think it was internal dimension is 12 centimeters and um, I was like, I don't want to buy the 14 centimeter because that seems a little bit too big to me. Because I think these guys grew up, go up in size like 10, 12, 14, 16. I don't know if there's an 18. And I just thought to myself, there's no way that this is not going to fit inside there. And it fits perfectly to the point that you still have space. So for example, down the side here, you can actually put the spork that I had inside there. You can put loads of extra towels in there, kitchen towels, things like that. Um, in fact, these guys, the premix drinks, can go down the side. So you can actually fit a whole lot more in here than I'd put into there. I was just doing this as a demonstration. So, carefully design and um, slowly purchase things bit by bit. And you can create a system like this in such a small space.